In this video, I'm gonna take you on a walking tour through San Francisco's Chinatown, the biggest Chinatown in North America. This is also where they invented the fortune cookie right here at the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Company that we're gonna visit later on in this walk. But let's go ahead and start from the beginning at the gate. All right, and here we go, starting this walk at the intersection of Bush and Grant Street. Grant Street is the main touristy street through Chinatown. We're gonna walk this for a little bit and then we'll go check out some of the side streets, the alleys, and of course, Ross Alley that had the fortune cookie company. Now, slightly odd here at the beginning of Chinatown is the Michael Gallery that has things like dogs drinking out of water fountains, things that don't look very Chinese at all, but the entrance to Chinatown is just a couple blocks from Union Square, which is kind of a big center for touristy hotels. And so this front is, I guess, galleries for people who come to visit San Francisco and want to bring some art home. Maybe a chandelier, maybe a crocodile water fountain, maybe a frog playing a saxophone. I prefer the colorful ones there. We got Popeye, Donald Duck, even Mickey Mouse here in the back. All right, now this Chinatown San Francisco is the largest Chinatown in North America, the most famous but it didn't always look the way it does today. Today, it looks a little bit like a, uh, as if you built an amusement park on China with these pagodas on top of buildings, which of course is not how China actually looks. And so how did San Francisco Chinatown begin to look like this? Well, it used to look just like any other part of San Francisco. But then there was a big earthquake that really leveled most of Chinatown and uh, the Chinese residents, as they got together to rebuild this place, they hired some white architects that lived here in San Francisco at the time, early 1900s. And they looked at pictures of China and said, well, that's what China looks like. And so they really wanted to invite people to come here, really make it a tourist attraction, which it is today, but it's also a place where the local Chinese population lives. We just saw a cable car go by right there. That is uh, California Street. And so that's the California Line cable car. Uh, now, this building right here, the trademark building, has a nice uh, Chinese motif up on top, and in the bottom is dim sum corner. By the way, you'll notice many of the stores are closed here, and uh, you know, the pandemic unfortunately was not too kind to Chinatown. We've seen a number of the little mom and pop owned stores go out of business, but uh, you know, if you're coming here, it's definitely worth a visit. There's a lot of stuff to see and you can take that cable car, which is pretty fun. By the way, if you look at this cable car and you see there's nobody on it, that's because this is the good line to take. The line that all the tourists take, they take the line in uh, from Union Square to Fisherman's Wharf. This line, and you can, by the way, that line to Fisherman's Wharf, you can wait up to an hour for that line because that's the one all the tourists go on. This one, the California line, goes from uh, the kind of ferry building at the Embarcadero up the hill. And so you can get on that one, as you see, and pretty much have the whole thing to yourself. Uh, you'll often find people playing music here in Chinatown. And uh, that's very nice right there. All right, we've got, we'll see more people playing music too. There was a group of like five people playing their traditional instruments up ahead when I did this walk right before doing this video. So hopefully they're still here. Uh, Chinatown, definitely a lunchtime kind of and weekend and daytime destination. That's when you'll see the most crowds and the busiest. I'm here about uh, 5 p.m. almost. And so things are starting to shut down a little bit for the day. And so that's why if you come here, if you've been here before and you see tourist throngs and then you don't see any right now in this video, because once it starts to get a little bit dark is when most of the shops also close up and go home. Here we've got a really neat camera store in Chinatown. By the way, I don't know who buys cameras at a store like this anymore, but it is neat to see these sorts of camera stores. Here we've got a sushi boat restaurant. So this is a place that sells sushi and then the sushi goes around on boats to the different places. I'll show you in the window as we go by. Oh, by the way, in this over Chinatown is just kind of uh, up the hill from the financial district. 
Transamerica Pyramid. Uh, and so it's pretty convenient if you're staying in Union Square or the Financial District to visit here. All right, taking a look inside the Sushi Boat Restaurant, you can see that sushi is a little dirty window, so it's hard to see completely, but the sushi goes around on boats inside of there. That's pretty, so it's not just like a conveyor belt, but it actually floats in the water. Now we can hear some more of that classical Chinese music coming up as we walk this way. Uh, on the left is a kite shop and uh, a place that also sells kimonos. Here, I wanna walk over to the kimono store. Oh, but first, uh, actually, we'll walk over to the kimono store and then we'll check out the Chinese ensemble here. So yeah, if you wanna get your classic Asian attire, by the way, kimono's not Chinese, they are Japanese, but in this store you can get fitted for custom kimonos. No, oh, custom, I don't know, but they have a lot of kimonos in the back. All right, let's take a look at that group that's playing right here. Uh, Chinatown is also famous for their murals and their street art. Here's a mural of Bruce Lee. And then here's another one of the Tiger Dragon. So there's like a whole mural tour you could take across Chinatown. It's not what this one is, but I will point them out as I see them. By the way, if you wanna play a fun drinking game along with this video, drink every time I say Chinatown. I'm sure the count is going to be quite high. One of the neat things about uh, this street, Grant Street, is they have these lanterns that go across it. So it makes it feel uh, particularly special in the red, sort of for Lunar New Year. Although Lunar New Year, uh, you know, February roughly of every year, uh, but they keep these up all year round. This is another neat looking building. It looks like a old Chinese theater right there. All right, so we're gonna go down this street and here's this Clay Street. This is the street where you can see the Transamerica Pyramid Building. That's that big pyramid up there. Uh, and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go check out the main square in Chinatown. Uh, here in this building with the Golden King Vietnamese restaurant, a ton of really colorful flags up there and uh, looks to be a eagle up there on top. So even though it's Chinatown, it's really become Asia town with lots of uh, Japanese food, Vietnamese food, Thai food, you'll find it all pretty much here. Now, many of the locals say the best Chinese food isn't here in Chinatown anymore, that the best Chinese food is in the Richmond district. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. But my favorite dim sum restaurant in San Francisco is the Palette Tea House. They're over at Ghirardelli Square in Fisherman's Wharf. I also like Dragon Bow, owned by the same company. They are in the Richmond district, and that originally started as Koi Palace in Daly City near San Francisco Airport. So this square is kind of like the center of community life in Chinatown. There are public restrooms that are free if you need to use them. And then the local community, they come out here and they play cards, they play mahjong, they do Tai Chi in the morning. So this is the big community meeting space along with the playground. Oh, I think if you want to stay like the closest hotel to Chinatown, uh, this is the, the Hilton right here, this building, which connects to Portsmouth Square on this bridge. And there's a large parking structure right under here. If you're looking for parking, this is a pretty good spot. Uh, it's not going to be cheap though. Or I've got another garage. Actually, the one I parked in today is the Vallejo Street Garage because it's in the same building as the central police station. So if you're looking for the safest, uh, safest parking garage, that's probably gonna be it right there. All right, a lot of these places, we've got Chinese medicine stores selling herbs, ginseng products, mahogany furniture, jade. You'll see lots of dragon motifs. This building right here is for sale. And then on this corner, we've got the Chinatown restaurant Beijing 49er celebrating 100 years. That is pretty impressive. A lot of history here in Chinatown. This isn't a mural down this street, but this is actually a bit of uh, like neat tile work up here on the wall with dragons and koi fish. 
That's pretty cool. And then there's this guy selling Gucci's. Oh, over here in Han's one ton house, <laughs> they don't sell things that are tons and weight, but they sell wontons or they sell dumplings. And in the window right here, you can see them making the dumplings tasty for you to order. So that's pretty fun. I love places that put the kitchen right out on display because then you have no questions as to whether it's, uh, you know, clean or not. Oh, here, you know, at Chinatown, when you see the roasted ducks hanging in the window, you see the fish you can order. And uh, they've also got some outdoor seating right out here along the, the way street. Down Thank you. Right. Here's a little Chinatown souvenir store. Everything souvenir you would want. You can pick up here extra luggage, magnets, those sorts of things. The local San Francisco police out here keeping the peace, which is nice. Uh, actually, with the pandemic and the crimes recently, there have been news about uh, San Francisco mayor stepping up police patrols and presence. So it is nice to see them outside. Now I mentioned Lunar New Year. And so you can see many of the flags up here, Alaska Airlines wishing you a happy Lunar New Year. Chinese medicine shops, here's an example of one. Uh, you can see lots of herbs and medicine in there. They also take EBT, which is food stamps or government aid programs. Chinese souvenirs, maybe you want to get a hanging dragon, maybe you want to get a jade bracelet, maybe you want to get a little stuffed animal bear, all here for you to peruse. So yes, if you're looking for uh, cheap souvenirs to bring back to all of your friends from San Francisco, uh, this is going to be your one stop shop, maybe bring back a little panda right there only 10.95 what a good deal get something to drink lady luck cafe boba milk tea popular here in chinatown a lot of these places like the hong kong clay pot restaurant you know you go in and that one's like up a flight of stairs so they definitely make use of uh up and down the whole area all right we're gonna uh head up the hill after we finish Grant Street. But if you're like, Chris, you told me people live here. This looks like a bunch of souvenir shops. Where are all the, where are all the supermarkets? And where are all the stores? And where are all the vegetables? That is up one street up the hill on Stockton uh, that we're going to come back around once we get to the end of Grant. And uh, oh, by the way, parking. So the street parking here, the meters are enforced. Monday through Saturday, seven to six. Uh, and like the rates change based upon how busy it is. You're 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 gonna pay for parking if you come to San Francisco, just uh, go ahead and bite the bullet and, uh, and pay up. You'll be driving a long way if you're trying to look for any place free to park. Oh, and of course we've got the waving cat right there saying hello, hello, the waving cat. The funny thing about the waving cat is that waving motion uh, is uh, actually the come here motion. So uh, I always thought, you know, like when I see those waving cats, I'm like, it's waving at me. And actually that motion is intended to bring money, wealth and prosperity into the store. That's why they put the waving cat out into the store. All right, uh, I'm gonna wait here for this car to go by so that I don't get run over. And then as no cars are coming, we will go ahead and cross the street. But now we're starting to get into a bit more of the living part of Chinatown as we see the street markets here on the side. And yeah, the supermarkets, they all come out to the sidewalk. So you can come out here, you can get your dragon fruit for $5.99. Maybe your grapes for $5.99. Maybe you want to get your durian jackfruit for four dollars a pound bananas uh, big citrus fruits we'll see a whole lot more as we go by pants yeah get your pants right here get your straw hats what are the uh, a lot of these are meat markets here we've got san francisco poultry if you want to get some fresh chicken we've got another ming's poultry incorporated and we've got more roast ducks hanging here in the window we got the roast ducks we've got the roast pigeons we've got the roast pork lots of tasty roast meats in there oh but you know i mentioned this is a 
daytime destination. Don't expect these stores or restaurants to be open late at night for dinner. I find even the ones that are open for dinner have a tendency to close by 6.30, 7, 7.30. So definitely check your dinner hours if you're coming for dinner. Oh, this is a neat alley that I wanna go check out and uh, then we'll head up the street. This is Jack uh, Kerouac. I probably mispronounced the name of that street, but this uh, is the Zodiac Wall, the 2023 year of the rabbit right here for the Lunar New Year. And we've got other cool um, murals here. The Zodiac Warriors 2021 for all the different animal lunar new years that's cool and it's not just on this side of the alley but it's on this side of the alley too this one is pretty big all right we're gonna walk over here to columbus as we check out the taxi now chinatown borders north beach which is the italian uh hub of san francisco and so if you're looking for some of the best italian restaurants you're gonna find them here uh, down Columbus. By the way, Columbus and Broadway, we're gonna make a left turn over this way on Broadway and head up to Stockton. And apparently uh, this is where the party is. There's a taqueria back there with some pretty vibrant mariachi sounding music. All right, now we're going up uh, Broadway. The new Sung Hong Kong restaurant has some neat art all the way on three floors of the building. The crosswalk here has a neat Chinese motif, and this is looking back on Grant that we just walked down from that gate. So we're just gonna go up one block and then walk our way back towards Union Square. But there's a lot of really cool things to see up on this street, a lot of the little markets. We're gonna go check out more of the little alleys. We're gonna see that fortune cookie shop and lots more cool things all right so supermarkets here is the abc supermarket incorporated that also has pushed the supermarket right out here onto the street we've got potatoes we've got green onions we've got ginger of course and oranges parking if you were to park in this parking garage it would be 20 dollars, which is actually a pretty reasonable price i think to pay for your parking uh, we've got a place here this is Dine, drink, and shop. Stay well and be kind. The Broadway Dim Sum Cafe. And in this orange shop, oh, it's a bakery. You can get wedding cakes. Uh, this is the VIP coffee and cake shop. Looks like they've sold out of most of their things for today. Here we've got Hong Kong noodles, dumpling soup, deep fried sesame balls. Then the way you order, they've actually got a little uh, digital screen that you order on right there and you can order all this tasty dim sum all right i like dim sum of course there's a lot of these takeout dim sum places here in chinatown but then you got to find some place to eat where you go eat you go eat out at portsmouth square to eat uh sit on a stool there we got a lot of instant noodles that are out here if you want to eat cheap pick up some instant noodles take it back to your hotel room um, by the way if we just look here uh, i'm just going to look at the street for a moment and then we're going to turn left down stockton uh, the classic san francisco skyline with the kind of uh, houses that go up on the hill line that way all right stockton here we go this one is more hustling and bustling than grant where grant seems like it was sleepy and closing up at nighttime this one is not this is where all the locals are and then grant is where all the tourists are. This is also the bus route, so the buses run up and down the street, which I think is what makes it a little bit more lively. It's a bigger street too. You know, as Grant was a only a one-way street. All right, uh, I wanna cross the street. I'm gonna do that in just a moment as soon as this bus comes by so that I don't get run over. While that may make for a good video, uh, I, am, I am too young to get run over today. You know what? Let's just go ahead and keep walking this way and not try to cross that street in the middle. I think my rational side of the brain got the better of me. Here's another uh, Sun Sun Trading Chinese medicine shop. You can smell these as you come by. We get like the dried fish and the dried ingredients and these things can be 
cheap, $8 a pound, or pretty expensive, uh, $55 a pound right there. All right, but on the other side of the street, there are a ton of markets, and now that no cars are coming, all right, here we go. Chris is not dying today, because if I did die today, I probably couldn't upload this video to you. Here we go, this, uh, I wanted to come over here to show you this. This is a seafood shop where they've got the fish in the window, but they've just got the live crab and everything. Big king crabs. Mmm, tasty, tasty. We've got more roast meats in the window here. And uh, another mural over there on the side of the street. As we look, oh, the sun is in, right? It's here. As we look at the Chongqing supermarket. So if you're looking, if you like Chinatowns, another one to explore while you're in the area. Oakland also has a pretty big Chinatown like this. Uh, Los Angeles has a big Chinatown in downtown LA, but this one is definitely the most lively and vibrant with kind of shops like this. By the way, this one is cash only. Uh, you know, a lot of businesses have started taking cards, but in Chinatown, you're gonna find a lot with only cash. And you might, some of these, you might have a little bit of a language barrier with the menu, but you know what? They'll be happy to serve you too, if you've got money. That's, that's all it is, money for products. In this one, they've got a little bubbling water in there to keep those fish going. It feels a little bit like uh, in Hong Kong in the wet markets, although in Hong Kong, the wet markets are like these super combined everything together. Here, it's like stall after stall after stall. But many of the local population here, they will do their shopping every day. That's the fairly typical Chinese tradition is not to buy a ton from, you know, Walmart and store in your refrigerator, but, you know, every day to come to the market and then pick out the foods that you're gonna eat and cook for that day's lunch and or dinner. We got the Veggie Land market right here that puts their veggies just out this way. And I think at this point, I'm gonna turn down Jackson. We're gonna go down the hill. Okay, back with you here. Now that the light turned green, we've got another mural on the wall with a big old looking Buddha on it. Old and jolly. And we can see a little bit of the San Francisco Bay off in the distance. Delivery truck for the local bakery. We can see the local fashion store if you wanna get some uh, kids Chinese clothing. Maybe I should bring some of that back for my three-year-old daughter. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Passing some boba tea shops, some more bakeries. We've got the Jumbo Trading Company. I wonder what the Jumbo Trading Company trades down there. Looks like another kind of supermarket, Chinese medicine shop. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn right here down Ross Alley. But before we do that, I wanna show you this store. On this side of the shop, it sells shoes. And on this side of the shop, it sells anime statues. All right, so you can get your shoes and your anime characters all down the same store, just different parts of it. All right, we got Ross Alley here. This is one of the uh, busiest, most vibrant alleys in Chinatown. This Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Company, uh, they are often credited as being the inventor of the fortune cookie. And you can come in here and you can see how they still make their fortune cookies today. And you can pick some up too. Uh, and you can pick up some boba tea right here. I like to take pictures down the street. If you're looking to take a selfie, this is a particularly good street to do it because there's no like direct sun in this alley, which gives you some kind of indirect lighting, makes it no harsh shadows, just nice clean faces. Uh, here we've got the Chinese Christian Mission and uh, they've put out a bunch of free uh, produce, vegetables. There were a lot more in here earlier when I walked by to check this out, but people 
clearly know when that comes out and I picked up some of their free fruits and veggies for the day. It's nice to do for the community. And uh, there's also some signs and plaques that um, talk about the alleys and talk about some of the things here in Chinatown. All right, we're gonna go, ooh, we're not gonna go across that street because the light just turned green, but we will cross it in a moment as I don't get run over down this street. Uh, we can see the Transamerica Pyramid Building here in the distance again, down the bright sunny street. And we're gonna turn down this alley as the cars come to a stop. Thank you very much. This alley has also, this is uh, Waverly, has some neat uh, lanterns that go across it. We see the spicy shrimp. We see Lily's hair salon, Loretta's jewelry company, the Utopia Cafe. Uh, mm, something smells good here. Let me tell you, it's probably the Utopia Cafe. What do they got here? They've got uh, beef brisket rice noodle. They've got beef stew noodle soup, fried chicken wings. Sounds good for some noodles for dinner today. Uh, I've got reservations a little later at China Live, so I'm looking forward to that. One of the newer restaurants here in Chinatown. Well, fellow explorers, I hope you enjoyed this walking tour of Chinatown. If you want to check out some of my other walking tours in San Francisco, you might enjoy my walking tour of Fisherman's Wharf or Pier 39 right here on the screen. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in one of those videos.